What up guys, we're in beautiful Austin, Texas with the one and only Nicky Rod and he's taking us to one of his favorite places to eat in the whole wide world. What is this place? I've heard of this place, what it's all about. All right, Terry Black's Barbecue, the king of Austin barbecue. We're about to hit anywhere from the brisket to the ribs to the sausage. It's gonna be fantastic. Brisket, ribs, sausage, what about your sides? The sides, sides are great as well. You have the cobbler, the corn. Cobbler, he's addicted to cobbler, he's addicted, it's, but he says he's a bodybuilder. So I told Tim, I was like, I love sweets. Do you yeah. like sweets? And he says, no. And he says he has an inner fat child. I was like, no, you don't, you fucking yeah. liar. Yeah. You have an inner fat child? I, I do, but I have that mind muscle to connection to where if I eat some cobbler, I'm gonna be like, go to the biceps, go to the biceps. Oh. So that's what I do. Can you teach us that today? I, we could try. It's yeah, I need that. Guy. Fucking cobbler, baby. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so we got beautiful amount of food here. Walk me through what's the proper way to eat the way you like to eat. Okay, so I like to save all the junk food for the for the end, right? I'll yeah. start off. Uh, honestly, I'll start off with the sausage. Yeah. A few pieces of sausage, just because it's super oily, get your palate covered. Yeah. And then I will move to the pork ribs, then on to the brisket, and then I'll top it off with the beef rib. Oh, you have the beef rib at the end. I think I think so, because like the beef rib is a little bit. A little juicier than the brisket, so oh, I'll go from like I super see. juicy, little dry, super. Juicy. Gotcha. Because if it goes too juicy, then that might not taste good. Well, I just, I mean, it is, it's going to taste phenomenal, no matter what. But I, right. I just prefer to have that. All right, let's do it. So a couple of the sausage, jalapeno cheddar sausage, dude. Thank you, sir. Is there melted cheese in the middle? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Dude, melted cheese. Look, melted cheese, dude. I don't know, let's see what this is. Mixture of salty, savory, yeah. spice. Good. Very good. You got it. Okay, now we get a rib? Yeah, let's go rib. Which size do you want? All of them, probably? Yeah, uh, yeah a little bit of all. Yeah. I'll serve you. This is Asian style. <laughs> Asian style, you always serve other yeah. people. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. True gentleman, this guy. Yeah. Here you go. I'm a bodybuilder. You, that's fake bodybuilding, dude. Pretty fake at everything I did. <laughs> hey, us world champions actually grappled today, okay? That's true. You guys earned it. I did not. We did burn quite a few calories. Yeah. You there try you to go. track your macros at all, or you just kind of weigh yourself to be in the rain? I just make sure I eat enough protein throughout the day, and then like now, my protein, I typically get it from like chicken and stuff, because when I was bodybuilding, I bodybuilded for like, seven eight years and i was mainly eating like ground beef and ribeyes or red meat only yeah and almost never chicken or fish and uh i don't know my flesh was kind of high so i figured a little bit of chicken might help it out also i think a good plate of fact is that i had almost no fiber in my diet like, i was oh, eating oh. like vegetables no avocado i was just eating meat carb and like that was it so now with every meal i try to have some some kind of vegetables some kind of fiber and i think that'll help me out a lot what about your body weight? Like, do you weigh it daily, weekly, monthly, or you just don't care as long as your conditioning feels um, good? Yeah, I know that uh, my typical weight is like 35, 235. So I try to stay around there and I try to look good at that weight. So, like, if I feel I'm a little bit fat, I lose a little bit, you know. But I just, my main goal is to keep the muscle. You know, I do a lot of cardio. And, like, if you're running marathons, none of those guys are jacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you get smaller, 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 yeah, smaller. Yeah. All right, let's grab one of these ribs. All right, beef rib. Oh, this one's a pork one, right? Oh, pork, yeah, pork rib. Indeed. Here, yeah, dude. Thanks, buddy. Wow, it smells amazing. It's practically falling off the bone right now. Look at this. So cheers. I was talking, cheers. I was talking to the guys at the house, and I was saying a lot of pork ribs, because I make a really good pork rib at home, yeah. and you need to have the bone be able to just wiggle out of the meat like this. Yeah. So they're actually doing a really good pork rib. The fact that I can wiggle it and like wiggle it out. Yeah. yeah. That's how you do it, okay? You see this? Because there's some other barbecue places we visited did not do that, and this is the right way. Okay. Exceptional. Exceptional. No. I'm, not, I'm a fan of the salt. Like, if something's too salty to some people, I think it's perfect. You know? Yeah? You know, like, with the skill set that you have, 
of being able to fold people into pretzels and stuff. Yeah. Do you walk around the world like never in fear? Uh, I definitely like. Do you go to the ATM and pull out money and go? I wish someone would. <laughs> I, I understand the value and the strength that a gun has. So oh. with that, I think that's like an equalizer. You know, you could be somebody's soccer mom, and you know, if you can shoot straight, you can, you can get somebody. You know? Yeah. But uh, I definitely analyze everything. Like if I go in a room, I see where there's a threat or not. You know what I mean? I think I think that's just a, a good way to live life. You know, be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Um, but I think it would be a little bit too hard for me to walk around and be like. Walk around in arrogance, you know what I mean? Like to be like, you know, I'm the best. Yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not a fun way to live life. You know. You, you told us you bounced for a while, but post that now you've built your name up in the sport and also online, right? Like yeah. online isn't just practitioners; it's a bunch of knuckleheads. Yeah. Do you ever get tested IRL, like at a bar or people size you up a little bit? Well, the first first step of that is just me not going out. <laughs> I almost never go out. Fair. Like. Like I train constantly, so like I value my sleep and my schedule. Um, but honestly, my community is super nice. Like I definitely would get tested when I was like bouncer because like I feel like it's fun for some people. They have a goal of like yeah, like a, a drunk them. tough guy. Yeah, exactly. But most people that aren't they are sober. They look at me and they're like, oh, he's got cauliflower ear. Oh, he's two hundred plus pounds. I'm probably leaving him alone. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and I, I'm not the one to look for problems. Like I just want everybody to be cool with aesthetic and just enjoy our day you know but I de it's definitely tough like I've had friends that look for fights and I'm like I'm just not going to hang out with them anymore you know what I mean yeah it's not worth a and you're a professional athlete now exactly yeah yeah if I get a fight and I, I can kill somebody you know what I mean like yeah, yeah. I've, I've even me too yeah <laughs> even like I was bouncing one time and I had a situation where this guy like headbutted me in the face and I just all I did was push him away from me and he cracked his head, unconscious, 20 staples. And I'm like, it's just a push, you know what I mean? Like, um, and I was in my right, like, it was on camera and whatnot, you know? Oh like situations God. like that, I didn't even fight the guy and he's like, we're still having issues. You know? yeah. Very scary. People yeah. are not durable, you know? Very delicate humans. I do think this is the best pork rib I've had in Austin so far. Because it's juicy, it's not off the bone. Flavor's good, not overpowering, still tastes the meat, but there's some spice to it. How's your Vegas barbecue? I haven't really been around Vegas. Really? Yeah. I bet you can find it though. Vegas has such good food. Yeah. You can kind of find yeah. anything. Vegas is the king of uh, all you can eat buffets, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or buffet. You guys say buffet or buffet? buffet. I feel like that's a Jersey thing, probably. What do you say? Buffet? You guys say uh, buffet, yeah. tournament. Tournament, yeah. yeah tournament. With a yeah. W? What do you tournament? Say? tournament? Tournament. Tournament. <laughs> tournament. I had a basketball coach that said tournament. Hey, how'd you do at your tournament? <laughs> Do I sound like I'm from, jo from Jersey? You can slide it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Brisket? To the brisket, yeah. Crazy, don't know if it's dessert. Go ahead. I don't know if it's an appetizer. It's dirty. Are you a, um, like, barbecue, must-go-with-sweet-tea type of guy, or do you have soda in there? I got sweet tea. Same here. When I do barbecue, I'm like, I might as well go commit fully, you know? Yeah, because I'm like, they made this for this for a reason, and I got to, like, keep it together. It's the combo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet and salty, you know? Okay, let's try this brisket. Oh, dude, it's pretty, uh... Very tender. It's very tender, dude. Brisket's it, right? Like, that is the... That's meat. the staple. Yeah, it's the meat of It's Texas. like, I'm pretty sure it was produced by... It was Germans first made it, like, popular. Um... But it's like, it's fantastic because it's one of the cheapest cuts of meat. Yeah. And it, you, it's expensive because you get a big, big quantity. Yeah. But man, you take something so simple and make it like a delicacy. I'm a big fan of brisket. Dude, a nice little smoke line going on. Yeah. I like how it's falling apart on my fingers. Very good. You said you're a ribeye guy. I am, yeah. Brisket's probably the closest we're getting there at a barbecue spa, right? Um, it's maybe its cousin, its second cousin. You know, but the beef rib is so much fattier. Um, I kind of relate that to her, towards uh, this rib is fairly fatty meat, you know? Yeah. I always liked it, where it tastes so good, I don't need sauce. Yeah. When you um, look at yourself as like a professional athlete, what would say, like, like, what do you, what is making it look like for you? Like when it's all said and done and you're like, 
sitting in your comfy rocking chair in your 70, what does like making it look like for you? I think it's, did I build an empire, right? Is B team, this, like I want, when people think Jiu Jitsu, professional grappling, they think B team. I want that, that to be the first thought in their mind. So I think we're, do, we're attacking, approaching YouTube the right way and other social media outlets. And I think within a few years in the future, we'll, we'll be a staple. I mean, we, we are a staple now, but I think we'll be a mainstream staple in the sport of Jiu Jitsu. And, uh, and I feel like, you know, whoever makes the most money wins, you know, in this game of life, this game of life, jujitsu, whatever. So uh, definitely try to be the highest paid grappler to ever live. That's, that's what about like in your personal life? Do you want like a, a wife, kids, or yeah. boyfriend maybe? I would like to, well, boyfriend, you, no. that's probably your friends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I uh, I would like a team. I want, I want kids, but I want like one for every weight class. Oh shit! How many yeah. kids do you need then, dude? A, a few. How do you, like ten of them? <laughs> Maybe. I uh, yeah, I definitely want a bunch of kids, and I, and I would like to. I feel like I had this ability to teach him how to compete. Like I did it with my little brother. Like I showed him the ropes, and in a year, he's one of the best grapplers walking the planet. So, um, he was I, also a standout too, right? Like you kind of like. He was a better wrestler than me. Like yeah, you you took the jujitsu world by storm. Yeah. Uh, belt, black belt slayer, yep. blue belt got silver. Um, your brother's like trajectory was just as crazy right i think even crazier because like like when i won the trials i got a few submissions and i beat people a few people by points when he won the trials it was a much harder tri adcc trials and he subbed everybody wow. like se seven one year of experience uh, training at b team seven matches seven submissions straight oh, you know, flawless it was wow. crazy ne it's never been done before seven submissions how much younger is he he's five years so he's 20 yeah. so it's truly it's impressive and uh, i feel like when i have kids i i would like to do it commit time to them the ones that want to really commit to the jiu-jitsu i can make it real good has there been another like as prominent brother duo in jiu-jitsu yeah, uh, I would say Ty, Ty and Kate Rotolo. Oh, okay. Uh, super high level. And the, they're the twins, Ryan, though, yeah. They're twins, yeah. And the Ryan brothers, you know, Nick, Nicky Ryan, Gordon Ryan, exceptional. Um, so, yeah, there's a few trans brothers. And you see it in the wrestling culture as well, where, like, you know, brothers will, will start wrestling, and then they go through, high, through elementary school, uh, high school, college together, and they just elevate each other. Yeah. And, you know, me and my brother are at that stage now where, like, we can really help each other get better. That's dope. Sure. Yeah. Ready to dig into the beef rib? Beef rib, yep. Is there a certain way you like to slice it up, or you just cut it I like a steak? Just put my face in it. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not the the most polite way to do it. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, you just pick it up like a drumstick? Yeah, this also kind of falls off the bone. Oh, well. let's let me see. Oh, oh, dude, it does want to like fall off. Probably give her a little shake. Okay, let's see. Oh damn! Yeah, it wants to fall off too. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> They're like, damn, that Asian guy's crazy. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. Yeah, dinosaur, dinosaur bone, dude. I'll cut you a big old piece. Oh, dude. Here you go, sir. Here you go, sir. Oh, dude. I know it is. I've been here before. And it's good, yeah. Yeah, the beef rib. <laughs> you gonna put the whole thing in? Just, or you're just, just teasing yourself? Oh, yeah, he does put his in his face. It's too good, huh? Yeah, it's so good. It's so soft. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that is exceptional. Yeah, I think it also barbecue, I think it It's very soft. soft, wow. Very, very soft, yeah. They got barbecue in New Jersey. I like this. Pizza? Pizza. Pizza pasta, you know, we'll hook you up. Get some good bagels. Bagels. Yeah. So I gotta be very honest. First time I had Terry Blacks, I came here 
right when I got off the flight, it was a night flight. Yeah. So I actually wasn't very impressed because I think we got the barbecue at the end of the day. So I would highly recommend if you guys were to come, I'm so glad I gave it another chance. Really, yeah? Way different. So I think it's not all dried up, you know? Yeah, yeah. We came in and I think we barely made it at, I don't know what it was, like eight or nine or 10. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Really, Spot really, really on, good. Yeah. yeah, really, really good. The corn is amazing. Did you try the cornbread? Not that yet. might be the best cornbread I had. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah cornbread's good. Corn I bread love bang. chunky mac and cheese. What was your favorite individual cut of meat? I think the beef short rib. Beef rib, yeah. yeah it's it's kind of hard to beat. Yeah, it's just like a, um, like the juiciest steak yeah. you've ever had, you know? Yeah. Even though the sauce is pretty good too. But I'm not, not a big sausage nothing guy. Beats a, pretty good yeah. sausage. Oh, nothing yeah, yeah. beats a peach cobbler. I, I've actually never had sausage even close to this. Yeah. So it impressed me every time. That's good. Cobbler? That's the play? This is what me and Nikki. Yeah. Yeah, we like peach yeah, cobbler. You guys work take, a, take a scoop of this bad boy. Yeah. Right there. That's a good peach cobbler. Listen, if you want to do, if you want to do professional grappling, even if you just want to train jujitsu, you want to get good at anything, be consistent in it. You don't have to train seven days a week if you if you don't want to, but be consistent, maybe two, three times a week. But over a long period of time, you can de develop some high level skill. Is there like, um, how do people tell like what's a good jujitsu school? What, what should they look for? Is it like the community, the instructor? Is it like if they have any like uh, star players there? Like what do you think is like a good indicator? I would say first focus on what you do. If you'd rather do gi or no gi jujitsu, you have to uh, find, you know, there's a difference between the both. So if you're a no gi fan or if you're more wrestling style, you're probably going to, to like a 10th planet or beat team academy. If if you prefer the gi, you find something like a Penzo Gracie or Gracie Baja school and, you know, go from there. But yeah, I think uh, before just committing to one gym, maybe go around a few and check them out. You know, maybe you make friends here and there. And uh, the community is just as important as the technique. Very, very good advice. Very similar to powerlifting. A lot of people, they stick in powerlifting because of the community. They find a really good gym that they like and they might not necessarily have like a star player there, but having people with like-minded and, and that are willing to get after it, they can train longer, five, 10 years, and that's what produces the ultimate results that you want. Thank you guys for watching this amazing episode, this amazing food. Where can they find all of the B Team Nikki Rod stuff at? Yes, uh, Nikki Rod on Instagram, uh, Nikki Rod 247, B Team Jiu Jitsu on YouTube. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Check out all of our merch, uh, MGK, Mexican Ground Friday, and whatnot. B Team Jiu Jitsu. Peace.